Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Windows 8 with internet in your Android phone using Limo PC emulator. So let's get into the video. So in this video, I am going to show how you can run Windows 8 in your Android using Limo PC emulator. And in this Windows 8, the internet is perfectly working. Uh, there are a lot of videos on my channel that have shown how you can run uh, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11 and the other versions of the Windows like the Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 64-bit uh, and this is the another video on Windows 8 and in this Windows 8 the internet is perfectly working that's why I am making this video so, so the motto of my YouTube channel is to show you how you can run uh, any Windows or Linux uh, in your Android in my previous video I have shown how you can run mac os x in your android with using limo pc emulator and in that mac os the internet is perfectly working so as i mentioned earlier i have shown windows 8 and other versions so there are total 8 videos till now on my channel in that videos i have shown different different versions of the windows 8 like windows 8 windows 8.1 and windows 64 bit and this is the another windows 8 which is supported by the internet so in this windows 8 the window is perfectly working you can use any browser and there are some preloaded browser i will i'm going to show you in so now i'm going to show you how you can use internet in this windows 8 so many people comment on my videos to show the windows uh, which is supported by internet so people can do many work so uh, if you use uh, internet in the windows so you can do a lot of things and uh, there are a lot of upcoming videos in my channel that I am going to show how you can uh, access internet and how you can access uh, you can access internal storage or how you can uh, so install or download any software in that windows so I have already made a video for the windows xp in that uh, windows xp I have shown how you can get the storage access means how you can create a disk and how you can keep the software in that disk and how you can install that software in that windows so if you want to install any software in the limbo pc emulator with windows with another windows like windows 7 windows 10 windows 11 in any windows if you want to uh, install any pc software let me know I, I try to make the video because already videos already there on windows xp so soon uh time to time uh, videos will come on my channel that uh, how you can install software in windows 7 how you can get in uh, internet in windows 7 the another uh, different versions of the windows 7 then windows 8 windows 8 with the internet uh, windows 10 with the internet windows 10 with the software accessible and windows 11 lot of windows over there and lot of topics uh, uh, for upcoming my channel so make sure to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos so now let's see how we can run windows 8 uh, with internet accessible in android with using limbo pc emulator so if you don't know about the limbo pc emulator let me just give a brief, quick brief for you so if you have an android phone and if you want if you don't have pc and you want to use windows and if you want to use pc in your android phone so it is possible while using limbo pc emulator application limbo is an android application uh, i have provided the downloading the downloading the description from here you can download and install this application as you can see this application look like this and this application does not require any root access you can use this application any android, any android phone if you're having a high-end device it is much possibilities that you can run high-end windows like windows latest windows 11 you can run in your android phone but already uh, there is a video on my youtube channel i have uploaded two videos on windows 11 that i have shown windows 11 on high-end device and windows 11 on low-end device but the latest windows required high-end device so if you're having a high-end device it will be good for you it will work very good with the windows because windows uh, required different hardware and android have a different hardware but this application managed to run uh, windows file in the uh, android phone so limbo pc emulator basically is an emulator application for the android where while using this you can run any operating system in your android phone like windows linux mac os everything i have uh, every topic i have make a video so you can check out my channel so this is the limbo pc emulator application now i am going to show you the procedure how you can run windows 8 so you have to download the two files first one is the limbo pc emulator application as i mentioned earlier i have provided the downloading in the description you can check out there and download from there after downloading install the limbo pc emulator app in your app install the limbo pc emulator application in your android 
thing you have to download the windows 8 file so i have also provided the download link uh, of this windows 8 file i have provided the downloading in the description you can check out there and download from there so after downloading it will look like this uh, it is in the zip file it will approx 1.4 gb as you can see in the screen after extracting it will be get about 2.50 gb as you can see it will approx uh, 2.5 gb taken in my android phone so make sure you have storage left in your android and make sure you have uh, 1.5 gb data to download it so as you can see you have to download this and you have to keep in your android internal storage so now you have to uh, enable the internet as i have mentioned earlier the internet is supported in this windows 8 so make sure you have connected with the internet mobile data or wi-fi make sure you are just connected with the internet with good internet so it will work very good with browsing surfing so now i'm going to open the limo pcm drive application at, at first it will look like this uh, step by step i'm going to show how you can run how you can do this all the settings in the limo pcm drive application so you have to first click on this none you have to click on new you have to click on this and you have to clear the machine name i'm going to uh, create windows 8 so as you can see it will now you have to select the custom because we are going to uh, we have already filed so we are going to create the machine at first you have to get into the user address you can you don't need to do anything as you can see it, you have to keep it like this you have to get into the board you have to get into the cpu model so there are a lot of cpu models i'm going to select this handy bridge so as you can see i've selected cpu model handy bridge because it is good for and it's by intel Xeon sandy bridge and there are a lot of uh, processor over here as you can see code code to do code do you can select uh, it's upon to you how you can run your pc so i'm going to select sandy bridge and core i'm going to select four as usual i have select always four and ram i'm going to select about uh, 2000 mb of ram so as you can see i've selected 2000 mb of ram and now i'm going to check it on the enable mptcg and i'm going to uncheck the TSC. so this is the settings you have to do uh, many people commenting on my videos that in their lim uh, limbo pc not application there is no option to check it, check it the mttc gen and check the dsl tc so i am telling you to uh, download and install the latest version of the limbo pc simulator in the latest version it's working in old versions it's not uh, uh, working to checking this enable mttc gen tsc so as you can see we have done the settings in the board now you have to get into the disk you have to select the disk a you have to click on the none click to open now you have to open the file manager of your android internal storage and now you have you have to open uh, the file which you have downloaded and extracted so as you can see this is the 8 and make sure this is the vhd file so as you can see this is the vhd file i'm going to open it now we have done the disk now you have to get into the down board you have to boot you have to select uh, boot from hard disk so as you can see just now i've clicked into boot and yeah i have selected the boot from hard disk now you have to get into the network if you want to use internet you have to do this settings this is settings is must to use internet if you don't this if you doesn't do this settings the internet won't work so make sure you have to doing the settings you have to click on the none you have to click on the user and network card you have to click on the default and you have to select uh, rtl 8139 so this is the settings you have to do now i have done all the settings uh, in my limbo pc emulator so let me just turn on the screen rotation turn my android phone so you get the better view so as you can see just now i've turned my android phone to you can get the better view for better understanding so i have done all the settings in the limbo pc emulator application after then doing uh, every app setting in the application make sure you are connected with the internet then only you have to start the windows so i have done all the settings so let me just you have to click on the play button after clicking play button as you can see it will saying booting from hard disk so the windows pc has been booting over here it will take some time to boot so you have to wait over here so as you can see the windows 8 logo uh, appear on the screen and as you can see the windows 8 is booting up here so it will going to take some time so i am going to just fast forward this video and come back after the windows 8 fully booted So you can see in the screen the windows 8 has been successfully booted in my android phone and it will take in few minutes like one to two minutes and it's also depend on your smartphone how high-end smartphone you have how good processor and how good ram in your android phone so it will take uh, 
the time accordingly to our, according to your smartphone so as you can see while uh, using your square lock volume buttons you can use like a mouse while pressing down the volume button you get the more option and i tell you this uh, windows it is another language you can change the language if you want to change you can just google it and from there you can uh, change the language so as you can see this is the mouse cursor and just now i've pressed the volume down button and get the screen uh, more options in the desktop and just click to refresh so first of all i'm going to show you the properties of this pc so this is the my computer and i'm going to open the properties of the pc to show you the properties of the windows 8 and as you can see the internet driver has been successfully detected by this windows 8 and the internet is perfectly working the internet is connected and also make sure the internet is connected with your android phone mobile data or wi-fi so let me just show you the details properties of this windows 8 so as you can see we have selected this handy bridge and it will showing intel Xeon e e312 sandy bridge 1 gigahertz processor 2 gb of ram so as i mentioned earlier this is not in the english language but you can change the language in the google and if you want me make a separate tutorial video how you can change language in windows so i will make a video so let me just know the in the comments so as you can see i've just now showed the properties of the pc and i also showed that the internet is detected by this windows 8 and the driver is successfully detected by this windows 8 and in this windows so there is a browser preloaded in this windows 8 as you can see firefox uh, browser is preloaded in this windows 8 so let me just open that so just now I've double click on the firefox mozilla firefox browser is preloaded and just now i've opened that so i've opened the browser to show you whether the internet is working or not the internet is working and i have tested it and i'm making the video so if you require internet in the windows you can use this with the windows 8 uh, in my previous video i've shown how you can uh, access internet in the windows 7 windows xp windows 10 you can check out my previous video and this is the another video which i am showing how you can get the internet uh, in windows 8 so just now i've opened the firefox browser and it will getting some error so let me just open the new tab and close the old one now i am going to search in the search bar so let me just open the keyboard so as you can see this is the uh, limbo running with windows if you want to open the keyboard you have to just uh, press back button and you have to click on the keyboard how you this is how you can get access to the keyboard now i'm going to type in the search bar so i have typed www.google.com so this is the search engine to show you the internet's working not so just now i've typed the google search engine and after search engine open i am going to type in the search engine to show you the internet's working or not so as you can see the internet is working and you can see the split of the internet just now i've typed and it's open very quick so as you can see in the screen this is the uh, google and this is the firefox browser has been successfully opened and the internet is perfectly working as you can see this is the google search engine so i'm stopping this video because it's taken very long time in my upcoming video i try to show how you can get softwares in the windows 8 with the internet how you can install chrome browser i'm going to install chrome browser on it because not everyone prefer firefox browser so that's what i'm not showing much about this firefox uh, i'm going to show you how you can uh, install and run chrome browser in this windows 8 and how you can get the other softwares uh, many softwares we can install and run in this windows 8 so this is the perfectly windows 8 running in android so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video share this video if you have a question or problem let me know in the comments thank you